This is Star Wars The Legacy Collection Battle Packs Hoth Speeder Bike Patrol. Um, this is uh, a two pack, uh, t t sorry, a two vehicle, two figure uh, battle pack from Star Wars by Hasbro. As you can see here, here is the packaging. I've laid it flat on its uh, front side. Battle Packs, Star Wars, uh, The Legacy Collection, Hoth Speeder, Bike Patrol. Uh, this is some pretty amazing um, battle pack. I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of Star Wars, and up to this time, up to this moment, uh, I, I haven't actually bought a lot of the vehicles. I think they were just too expensive. Uh, just to just to be vehicles and a lot of the battle packs I've really passed up on them, but I re I and I usually just buy the figures Being a transformer fan and all um, I, I wanted to devote a lot of my funds for transformers and just you know keeping uh, figures from the Star Wars line just for um, as souvenirs of the movie because I'm an all-time fan of my all-time favorite movies are the Star Wars uh, trilogy and trilogy prequels and I really love Star Wars and um, between a, a Transformers figure and a vehicle I'd rather go for a Transformers figure but I did not let this one pass by because I think it's pretty awesome I mean one of the, my favorites favorites from the Star Wars trilogy was Return of the Jedi uh, the biker the bike patrol on Endor that was my my very very favorite uh, one of my favorite scenes was really I, when I was a kid I'd pretend I'd ride a bike like a, a speeder bike and, and, and it was just amazing I, I really the effects um, the way they made the the speeder bikes zing, uh, zing and through the woods of Endor, the moon of Endor, was just way beyond their time. And uh, kudos to Lucasfilm and George Lucas for really envisioning such a wonderful film. Um, now they've given a. I'm not exactly sure if if the speeder uh, the speeder bikes did appear in uh, the Hoth scenes of Empire Strikes Back. I'm not particularly sure. I think they did, maybe for a fraction of a second or something. I'm not sure, but Hoth, the Hoth uh, planet, was uh, was seen, was featured in Episode Five, which is the Empire Strikes Back. And um, as you can see, it's a snow planet, an icy planet, and they've got the bikers in winter gear. Now let, let's take a look at these uh, this playset. It, these are two identical. Uh, figures and vehicles like two of the same kind of the speeder bikes and the figures are exactly the same there's no sergeant between them they're both they're both uh, 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 bike scouts I think I think that's what they're called bike scouts and biker scouts sorry and I'm and I'm really a big fan of the biker scouts in fact I'm actually waiting for the uh, arrival of the um, uh, the Biker Scout Mighty Mug. I am absolutely getting that. But in the meantime, I have this guy. I'm not a big fan of... I, I, I have to be frank, you know. I, I'm not a big fan of the Hoth scenes. I mean, the snowy scenes. I mean, they were just... I, I never really got to liking them. Because uh, uh, the, 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 the resistance, the rebellion, was in retreat. And I didn't like the fact that Darth Vader was really... I don't know. They re Darth Vader really ran them out of the of their hidden base. So, uh, and they lost a lot of guy a lot of guys during the battle at Hoth. And I was really a big fan of Hoth because everything was so white and you couldn't see a lot of the details. And uh, anyway, uh, but I, I had second thoughts about uh, these figures of uh, th this battle pack because a battle pack like this out here in Manila costs about uh, thirty dollars. Uh, it is the price point of a Voyager class figure for the Transformers. So, in your part of the world, whatever the price for the Voyager is, uh, chances are it's the exact same price for this battle pack. Uh, here it's about $30. Um, in most parts of the world, it's just $20. So, um, again, as I said, they're very identical. They're exactly the same piece. I, I, I didn't really see the point in making two, but I'm glad Hasbro did because what, what you can do is you can keep one in the box for posterity's sake and just display one of them on the shelf. Or, like what I will do, obviously, as you can see, I've not taken them out of the plastic housing uh, or the plastic molding right here. Um, I will display this in package 
until I found a suitable glass display for them. Uh, just because these figures are sort of a hot item out here and a little bit rare, it's very hard to find them now because a lot of people like the biker scouts. Um, so you could do either that. Just to get into the detail, um, this is not your usual jungle bike, uh, which is not green and gray. This is a lot of whites, but it is the same design. They've got the uh, uh, duffel bag right here. The engines are still here, and the nose cone is practically the same. Uh, the guns, I think, are here. Uh, you, can, they can, you can make the figure hold the handle, uh, which, is, which is fine, uh, just like that, uh, which is pretty cool. The biker is in its winter gear, but the helmet, I think, is the same. They've got accessories right here, two long rifles and two short ones, which is characteristic of the biker's, uh, biker scout's weapons. Excuse me, the biker scouts uh, do use um, small uh, pistols, uh, just like this. Um, you can make them hold uh, the pistol on each hand because the, the hands are molded with the trigger finger, or you can just make them hold both the, uh, the handlebars of the bike. It doesn't really matter. Uh, the bikes do come with stands. You can stand them up if you want. They don't have an individual display stand, but they'll do fine like that. Um, there's nice detailing everywhere. It's like there's frost uh, frost marks everywhere. Um, no oh, dirty boots. There you go. Some dirt on their boots. But everything else about the Biker Scouts uniform is almost very clean. Oh, the back. There's some burn marks there. Maybe from the heat of the engine. But all in all, it's a very good battle pack. Uh, I highly recommend this. If you can still see him, get him. He's worth the price. In the background, you will see the AT-80, AT, I think, uh, which is one of those lumbering, elephant-like um, uh, uh, snow walking tanks of, of the Empire, which you can see a very iconic image of the Empire Strikes Back. And you can see here there's some snow, and it's really a wonderful, wonderful display. And I think if you want, you can keep it in the packaging. Here's what the packaging will look like. Um, it, it's all glass, I mean, sorry, it's all plastic up in front and he, he'll, he'll fit very nicely. Uh, even if you put it, of course it fits, but even if you put the uh, uh, the figures inside the packaging, they'll still look nice because there's not much uh, part of the cardboard, cardboard is blocking the view right there. Just quick look at the back of the package. Um, Hoth Speeder Bike Patrol, Scout Troopers, they really look great right there. I'm just not sure if, if this scene was actually in the movie. Um, you can see the at, -AT vehicle right there. Alright, um, so there you have it. Uh, the Star Wars Legacy Collection Hoth Speeder Bike Patrol. Highly recommended. If you can find him, go get him. Thanks for watching.